While still a college student, Jack Dorsey became active in online programming, eventually launching the social networking site Twitter in 2006. Since then, Dorsey has served as CEO, Chairman of the Board of Directors, and Executive Chairman of the company, among other positions. In 2010, he also became the founder and CEO of Square, a popular online payment platform. Infancy and Adolescence Dorsey was born on November 19, 1976, in the Missouri city of St. Louis. During his childhood in St. Louis, Dorsey developed an early interest in computers and communications, and while still a student at Bishop Duborg High School, he began to design computer programs. In particular, he was intrigued by the technological issue of coordinating taxi drivers and delivery vans, as well as other fleets of vehicles that had to be in continual, real-time communication with one another. Dorsey began writing dispatch software when he was 15 years old, and it has been in use by taxicab firms for decades. At first, some decried Twitter as a tool for the shallow and self-centered to broadcast the minutiae of their life to the rest of the world, and they were right. Conan O'Brien, the late-night comedy show, even included a piece called Twitter Tracker in which he insulted users of the social media service. During its early years, the site was also plagued by frequent service interruptions. However, when celebrities and business leaders alike began to use Twitter, the platform was no longer the target of so many jokes. After emerging as a powerful platform for presidential candidates Barack Obama and John McCain to communicate with their supporters while on the campaign trail in 2008, Twitter rose to prominence as the leader of the microblogging movement and quickly became the most popular social media platform worldwide. After the Iranian presidential elections in June 2009, when thousands of opposition supporters came to the streets to protest the alleged triumph of incumbent Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, Twitter rose to international attention. Iranian Twitter users swamped the site with real-time updates after the government disabled text messaging and satellite feeds of international news coverage. A representative from the United States State Department even emailed Dorsey to ask that Twitter postpone its scheduled repair so that protesters could continue to tweet. It appears that Twitter is playing an essential role in Iran at this critical juncture. Would you be able to keep it going? According to a State Department spokesman, the phone call was made in the middle of the night. Twitter cooperated with the request. Being the CEO of a multinational corporation is a difficult job. Now image being in charge of two huge corporations at the same time. This is the kind of life that Jack Dorsey lives. As the CEO of Twitter, NYSE, TWTR, and Square, NYSE, SQ, Dorsey exemplifies what it means to be a guy with superhuman talents, according to the dictionary. Among his strict routines is an early morning routine that includes waking up at 5 a.m., taking cold showers, and walking 5 miles to work. He also has a strict evening schedule that includes waking up at 10 p.m., taking cold showers, and eating only vegetables. To ensure that he remains productive and focused throughout the day, Jack Dorsey does the following five things first thing every morning. At 5 a.m., get out of bed. Dorsey, like many other business leaders, is a member of the venerable 5 a.m. club. On most weekdays, he is up and out of bed before the sun comes up. A 5 a.m. wake-up call provides Dorsey with valuable time for personal development. He takes use of the extra early hours by meditating, walking to work, or exercising. In the past, Dorsey would get up at 5.30 a.m. to meditate and go for a six-mile jog before heading to work. When Dorsey gets up early in the morning before the rest of the world, he carves out time for himself, which he uses to better his mental and physical health. Take a refreshing bath. Dorsey begins each day with a refreshing bath in icy water. Because of the abrupt transition from his warm bed to a chilly bath, he has gained more mental confidence. Dr. Kelly McGonigal argues in his best-selling book, The Willpower Instinct, that doing uncomfortable activities, such as taking a cold shower, causes a person to create neuropathies that make them more resilient. Making Dorsey feel that he can accomplish practically anything by taking an ice-cold bath has allowed him to build a mindset that has served him well as the CEO of Twitter and Square. Meditate. Being the CEO of two international corporations can have a negative impact on your mental health. This is why Dorsey meditates for one hour every morning, a 
practice that he has maintained for more than two decades now. Meditation, according to Dorsey, has had the most profound impact on his mental health throughout the years. Meditation, according to research, has a variety of benefits, including the reduction of anxiety, depression and stress, as well as the improvement of one's capacity to multitask and concentrate. There will be no breakfast. One of Dorsey's more contentious habits is that he only eats one meal each day, dinner, while working. Several nutritionists have expressed concern that Dorsey's habit of intermittent fasting may be harmful to her health. Nevertheless, intermittent fasting, according to Dorsey, allows him to use the extra time to do other, more important things. Take a short walk to work. Dorsey has enough money to hire any car he wants or charter a plane to drop him off at his office if necessary. The Twitter and Square CEO, on the other hand, walks five kilometers to his workplace three times a week. In his explanation, Dorsey states that he utilizes the one hour and 15 minute walk to reflect and listen to the Bim Hot podcast. He gets to enjoy the early morning sun while on his walk. It's nice and refreshing. The only thing that comes to mind is that this is one of those awe-inspiring wow, I'm still alive, moments. Dorsey expressed himself. On days when he doesn't have to go to work, Dorsey works out for 7 minutes at a high intensity. The use of a standing desk with a near-infrared lamp, taking vitamin C supplements, journaling in the evening, and tracking his sleep are among the other wellness behaviors Dorsey practices throughout the day to stay productive and healthy. He's also been walking the 5 miles to work every day for the past two years, which takes him a little more than an hour on average each day. When he eventually returns home, Dorsey writes in a reflective notebook and wears and ring to keep track of his sleep, according to him. The billionaire has stated that he may explore altering his daily routine in the future, and he looks to be pondering a more severe approach as well. During the podcast, he explained that a lot of my routine today is due to what seemed like it just had to be done in order to, not just live, but to make sure that I can continue to be performing and continue to be clear. At the time he published the post, he was working 16-hour days, Monday through Friday, which meant he was working 16-hour days. Whether that's the kind of workday you're looking for or not, you have to realize that he's amazing for being able to squeeze it all in.